Hi there. Okay, today's question is, can you get permanent residency by studying a diploma of business, advanced diploma, or one of those business courses uh, that are on offer? And what we're going to do is have a look at the statistics. So let's dive right into it. First of all, what I like to do is understand how many people or how many international students are studying this. And I've got some figures uh, about the numbers of people studying this sort of uh, course. And we can see that there's 133,000 students across Australia, international students, uh, studying a diploma or advanced diploma. Okay, so that's number one. We can see that most of the international students are actually studying at private training providers. So there's 18,000 at TAFE, but the majority are at private providers. And if we look at the subjects, that international students are studying for vocational courses. We see that 30,000 are studying uh, food and hospitality. Uh, 133,000 are studying management and commerce. Uh, we've got 17 doing engineering and some, inf some doing uh, information technology. But really the majority of international students are actually studying these management and commerce type of uh, courses and they're going to be a diploma or higher. So really I would say there's probably more than 90,000 uh, studying this sort of, uh, more than 90,000 students studying diplomas or advanced diplomas in business or leadership and management or something like, like that. So that's the numbers, remember 90,000. Okay, so the next thing we need to think about is, all right, who is getting uh, permanent visas? We can see that managers, by studying a, a diploma or advanced diploma, in a lot of respects, you're going to be classed as a manager, okay? And really, that only makes up this 9% uh, of all of the applications for permanent visas. We see that most of them go to professionals, um, but professionals will require you to have a university qualification. So, um, you, that's really taken up by university students. We've got 17%. That's generally taken up by, um, you know, the, the trades, whether it be people like chefs or uh, carpenters, mechanics, those sorts of things. So really, there's only a very small portion that uh, of permanent visas given to managers. See, so 9%. Right, so how do they get these visas? Let's have another look at that. Here we go, we've got all of the statistics here. And 3,908 permanent visas were given from uh, given to managers. Even though there's probably around 90,000 students currently studying, only 3,908 actually received a permanent visa and maybe not all of these students are, are going to be part of that. So that's really less than than 4%. But we see as well that a lot of them are getting sponsored. So this really for a, a diploma in um, management business, the majority of these sorts of applications are through sponsorship. But there's a trick. If you're a student, unfortunately, and you just graduate, um, if you don't have any experience as a manager, you cannot get sponsorship. It's not an option because you need experience. And also for a skills assessment, you also need experience. Um, we find that a, a lot of students think that, oh, I'll be able to get a sponsor once I finish my course. No. Really, you're in a situation where you will need to get uh, some experience in order for you to be able to get a sponsor, okay? You can't get that experience if you don't have a graduate visa, okay? Graduate visas are becoming more and more important for permanent migration, especially for students, and um, that allows them to get experience. But unfortunately, diploma in business, advanced diploma in uh, leadership and management, will not allow you to apply for a graduate visa. So really, you're stuck because you can't get experience and you need experience for a sponsor. And that's 
normally the way that these managers are, are getting uh, permanent visas. So if you need some information, what I suggest you do is you get yourself what's called a migration plan is something that we offer because planning your migration is now more important than ever. Uh, we will we'll see that you know there's a, a lot of information available about statistics about who is actually getting permanent visas, but uh, there is often uh, the pathways are quite long. Graduate visas are now very important for students, okay? So just remember, a great graduate visa is one thing you need. Skills assessment, we always need to think about your skills assessment. It is now pretty critical that you have a skills assessment. Um, can you use qualifications you already have? This is always a question, and it might be best to use qualification that you've got back in your own country. So remember, that might be an option for you. But we don't want to waste your vocational course. Maybe we can use it in some way uh, that will give you more opportunities in the future for permanent migration. So, look, that, that's uh, all I'm going to say uh, about it today. But really, there are a lot of students um, studying this course. It doesn't really give you a graduate visa. It doesn't give you the opportunity to get a sponsor if you don't have any experience. Um, and really, you're on a, a bit of a, a, a cycle. Um, so I would suggest if you're thinking about permanent migration, uh, get some get some good advice from a migration agent, okay? They'll be able to help you and, and make some decisions. Like us, for example, we have a migration plan that will be able to help you. More information below. Thanks very much. Until next time, and get a plan.